One million dollar Bitcoin in 90 days. Could it potentially happen? There is a bet happening right now. And it's not for one million dollars. It's actually a two million dollar bet that this is going to become a reality in the crypto market because there are some big predictions about the US financial system falling apart, hyperinflation. We're going to be breaking it down in this video. Could it potentially happen? You never know about these black swan events in history. And we're going to be talking about that as well as some other very important things you do need to know in the crypto market today we'll take a look at some other crypto prices at the end as well so if that sounds good to you guys hit the thumbs up button let's get into the big news about the one million dollar bitcoin in 90 days so have a look at this former coinbase cto makes two million dollar bet on bitcoin's performance so this person has predicted bitcoin will reach one million dollars within 90 days as a consequence of hyperinflation in the United States. So you guys know right now, in the USA, banks are falling apart, interest rates are potentially going up, the national debt is going through the roof. And are we heading into the storm right now? The former Coinbase CTO thinks we are, and he's so bullish on this that he's actually betting $2 million of his own money right now to make this prediction and make this bet. And it's actually happening right now. So it says here, former Coinbase chief technology officer, Balaji right here, has made a millionaire bet on Bitcoin's price over the next 90 days, predicting the cryptocurrency price will reach $1 million by June the 17th. So that is not very far away. And that's extremely exciting. He will be betting against James Medlock. And you can see in this tweet, you know, the reasoning behind why he is making this bet. So he's moving to million dollars in USDC for the bet. And uh, he talks about this concept of hyper Bitcoinization right here. So Bitcoin versus the USD. And he goes on to say, this is the moment the world re-dominates on Bitcoin as digital gold, returning to a model much like before the 20th century. What's going to happen is that individuals, then firms, then large funds will buy Bitcoin, then sovereigns like El Salvador and tiny crypto friendly countries. The big move will be when a US state like Florida or Texas or a normal country like Estonia, Singapore, Saudi Arabia, Hungary, or UAE buys Bitcoin. And when India's central bank buys Bitcoin, even as a hedge, it's over. Why will it be so fast? Well, hyperinflation happens fast. We've seen digital pandemics, digital riots, and digital bank runs. Everything will happen very fast once people check what I'm saying and see that the Federal Reserve has lied about how much money there is in the banks all dollar holders get destroyed. And then he goes, this tweet is the second forewarning. It'll be ignored and mocked by people who still trust the US establishment, even after the last few years. Who can't imagine that the US banks and media could be lying to them to this extent? But they are just as they did in 2008. And over the last 10 years, the digital devaluation of the dollar is coming and it's going to be intense. So that is the reasoning, the main core tenets of uh, why he is making the $2 million bet on Bitcoin going to $1 million in 90 days. And guys, if this happens, I know a lot of you guys tuning into this channel are gonna be extremely excited, not only because of the Bitcoin price, but uh, it will bring up the altcoins as well. So as always, not financial advice on the channel, but if this was to happen, uh, millionaires would be made in the crypto market in a very short amount of time. And uh, to break down the analysis of whether it could potentially happen, what do I think? So we are trading right now at around $27,000. Uh, in Bitcoin price. So to get up to $1 million, that's a lot of multiples very, very quickly. I'd have to say, you know, his reasoning would have to come to fruition here. So I think you'd have to see some really big black swan events happen in history. I'm not saying they can't happen, but they would have to happen in the next 90 days. So we have seen some big things happen in the past, uh, but it's like a full on financial meltdown. That is what uh, would have to happen for that scenario to play out. And, uh, you know, with the US national debt, I think the big elephant in the room, it's uh, I don't think the US is ever going to pay off the debt. So it is like a big bubble that uh, keeps on expanding and they're always going to push up the debt ceiling. They're never going to be able to repay this. That's what I think anyway, because they just keep inflating the currency and uh, the big question is is that big collapse going to happen soon 
that is what's on everyone's mind. And if these big bailouts from the Fed and uh, you know the Swiss National Bank, it wasn't happening, you know, you would see some massive calamity in the financial markets right now. That's what I'd be thinking anyway. But this is an absolute monstrous bet. Will Bitcoin hit one million dollars in ninety days, guys? Drop your comments down below. Interested to hear your thoughts. But that is a real bet. Two million dollars is now in play, and it's going to be very, very exciting to see how it plays out. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We have an update on that in the future. Other things you need to be aware of this week. Very, very important. Fed is poised to approve quarter point rate hike next week despite market turmoil. That is what the experts are saying, but we're going to have to wait and see until we actually get that notification. So it's happening next week, guys. Is this the straw that's going to break the camel's back? That is what the market's questioning because the interest rates are already quite high. There's lots of debt in the system and uh, we are going to find out. A lot of people are predicting 25 basis point increase, but we're not exactly sure. But that is one of the big macro things that's going to impact the stock market it's going to impact the crypto market if they do keep it on hold so they don't raise the interest rates i think that's going to be extremely bullish for crypto if that does happen so i think there's a low chance of that happening but if it does happen you know potentially you could see some massive jumps in the crypto prices because it means they're losing the fight against inflation and uh, quantitative easing and quantitative easing is the pathway forward we can also see right here cz has got this good mindset tweet he said right here mindset is everything don't say i wish I got in early say I wish I bought when there was FUD not financial advice keep building and that's one of the core principles of uh, investing in crypto so the fear and greed indicator and if we actually jump into this right now it's actually in greed so what CZ is saying is you know when this thing we haven't checked it out for a while but you know when we we're sitting at you know low prices you know nineteen thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars or even if you go back a few months uh, you see Bitcoin at like you know, $15,000, that is when, you know, the fear would have been very, very high. So you always have to have counter secular emotions in crypto when you're looking to make purchases and, and sell. I cover that in the 100X Crypto Mastery course. If you guys want to check it out, you can get the first two lessons for free. Link in the description of this video. So that is some great non-financial advice uh, from CZ. So keep building. And he's also said right here, holding crypto is tough. It wasn't easy for people who held on in the last few months. But I know a lot of you guys from the channel, you've been holding for longer than months. You've been in the crypto market potentially for a year, two years, a lot of you. And some OGs may have been in the crypto market for five plus years as well but hodling is a good strategy especially over the long term i think anyway especially when you have ballooning u.s national debt right here and i also want to throw this into the mix as well so i do think politics can sometimes be things you do need to pay attention to because they also can factor into some unpredictable black swan events and i want to put this one on your radar as well so apparently next week donald trump is getting arrested that is the word spreading on twitter that is the word going around from the news the news stations and uh you can see the tweet from elon musk the banking system is collapsing arrest donald trump so is this a distraction is he actually getting is he actually getting arrested because this would be some big political news and uh, very strangely, at the same time, apparently he's been let back onto Facebook and YouTube after a two year ban. So very, very strange timing of those lifts on the ban for Donald Trump. And uh, the word around town is he's getting arrested next week. Whether that happens, how that's going to play into the financial markets, not exactly sure, but it's just a political factor you should be aware of in the crypto market because it may have some flow on effects to some degree. And if we actually have a look at this one, Bitcoin is magic. And that is according to Michael Saylor. And I love the artwork on that. And I totally agree. Bitcoin is magic. And that's why people are seeing massive potential in crypto. This is why, you know, the Coinbase CTO is making a massive bet on this right now for $1 million Bitcoin in 90 days. How this is going to play out, we'll find out in the future, but it is very exciting. If we actually have a look at uh, the Bitcoin price in the imminent term, how are we tracking right now? So you guys can see right here, we have made some really nice gains over the last few days. So we have inclined slightly. Uh, we did cross over this 26K recent high and we actually pumped above that and we got up to you know nearly $28,000 Bitcoin. So we're very, very close to knocking on the door of $30,000 Bitcoin. So if we can capture that, as a movement, we capture the 30K range. I think that's going to kick off a lot of FOMO. And then if you have this perfect storm of, uh, you know, the financial markets melting down, banks melting down, you know, people, will there be countries? This guy's making the prediction. Will countries start to buy up Bitcoin? If they do, you guys know, you know, they're big whales. They have, you know, not millions. They got billions to spend. If India buys Bitcoin, if uh, these other countries, you know,
know Saudi Arabia start to buy Bitcoin, whoa, watch out because it could get absolutely crazy in the crypto market. But as I always say, always remember crypto comes with that reward and risk. You always have to be comfortable with the risk. Price can go up, price can go down. And uh, you always have to factor that in as well. Always want to keep it realistic with you guys on the channel. And if we have a look at the other crypto prices today, so Bitcoin down slightly. So some people potentially taking some profits in the short term. You can see BNB slightly down. So a little bit of profit taking, I would say right now, but uh, you know, these crypto prices long term is what I'm looking out for. And the next 90 days, Bitcoin goes to $1 million. I reckon these prices would be absolutely crazy. But we'll find out whether that happens. If you guys enjoy the content, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Links to different bonuses in the description of this video. You get discounts on crypto tax software, crypto bonuses on different exchanges, VPNs, things that are going to help you as well as the 100x crypto mastery course, which can definitely help you if we get some more bullish momentum in the altcoins. Remember with altcoins, Coins, you have to be analyzing them from a contextual point of view, looking at lots of different factors, market cap. Where is it now? Where can it potentially explode? Is it undervalued? That is the question you've got to be looking at. And uh, you have to be looking at marketing plans, utility, and uh, future growth. But we analyze that in the 100X Mastery course. If you guys want to learn about it, you can. But guys, that is a big update. Really appreciate you tuning in. Have a good rest of the weekend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.